This question says, during an experiment, the insulin stimulated transport of glucose into cultured myocytes in is analyzed. Again, during an experiment, the insulin stimulated transport of glucose, insulin stimulated transport of glucose into cultured myocytes, it's analyzed. The dependence of the rate of glucose uptake on the media glucose concentration in the presence, which is the dashed line, and absence, the solid line of insulin is measured. Which of the following graphs most likely resembles the expected results of this experiment? So we're talking about myocytes, and we know that those cells are easily stimulated in terms of uh, concentration of glucose. You don't need a really, really high concentration of glucose like you need it in uh, a pancreatic beta cell or uh, the liver, right? So we have to see what's the rate of where exactly, what does the question say exactly? Which of the following graphs most likely resembles the expected results of this experiment? So what is, what is the expected result? The dependence of rate of glucose uptake. So the dependence of rate of glucose uptake on the media, a glucose concentration in the presence and absence of insulin is measured, presence or absence of insulin, where um, the dashed line is the presence or in the solid line is the absence. So one thing for sure is that in the presence of insulin, there's going to be greater increase of glucose. In the absence of insulin, there's going to be lesser um, absorption of glucose. So we, we can see that all ABCD, all four choices is going to have, it's already the way it is, right? The one thing, the one graph I will rule out immediately is a straight line. That relationship of, of uh, uptake of glucose inside the cell cannot be this um, direct or this straightforward. It has to be a curve, right? I mean, initially it's going to be high and then slowly it will taper. Initially high, slowly tapers. So, taper. so choice A is automatically eliminated just by common sense. Now let's look at choice B, C and D. Now, when there is no insulin, very little glucose should go in compared to when there is uh, no insulin. So, of these three choices, where do we see the most um, difference between the uptake of glucose in, with the presence of insulin rather than in the absence of insulin? The most difference is seen in choice number B. So, that would be the correct answer in this question.